Welcome friends to another episode of Seven Days to Die Modded with Darkness Falls. So we just ended day 42, the Horde Night, and we made out like bandits here. I have tons of stuff in my inventory. We even got some key cards here. Is this all sorted? No, it is not, but we got one green key card and uh, two blue. So not very many key cards actually uh, at all, but hey, uh, at least a few will uh, get us started, right? So I'm thinking of maybe changing what I'm going to be doing here with uh, the Horde base because originally I was just going to keep it standing, you know, try to keep the numbers as low as possible on Horde Night. Uh, but there's only certain types of zombies that actually drop those key cards and on Horde Night, uh, zombies tend to drop uh, loot a lot more. So we're going to have to kind of look at Horde Night um, as a... Oh, look at all those zombies over here. Uh, we're going to have to look at Horde Night as a farming night where we're going to be literally farming uh, zombie loot as much as possible. So I think we got to actually improve our Horde base here. Maybe put some defenses in it. Uh, maybe took, take a look at getting it wired up with uh, with bullets and whatnot because uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be using co coil bullets from now on and we can use all the other bullets that we find uh, in our turrets. So I think that would be a good alternative. Oh my god, I am so incredible slow okay I'm gonna get my butt up here to uh, to my dump chest uh, we're gonna get rid of as much stuff as we can here and then we're gonna uh, talk to the trader and get ourselves a quest but like just judging by how much stuff I have on me this is gonna take a few moments all right nice and organized here so I'm gonna have to keep in mind when we go out I'm gonna actually have to go and uh, actively uh, grab materials such as plastic and whatnot. We can get a ton from boxes. I learned that last episode, I believe, or the episode prior, but yeah, a uh, little bit of a tough lesson there. Now, uh, where did I put, it's possibly in my mini bike, my ratchet, or it's back at the horde base. We may have left some stuff behind there too. Uh, that's okay though, because I also left JT over there and uh, we have to go and grab it and uh, bring it with us here in order to do a quest. But before we go anywhere, uh, let's actually see uh, what quest our traders have for us. Oh, we have another buried supplies here, 722 meters north. We'll go ahead and grab that one. That's a nice, easy one to do. And uh, sometimes the rewards are actually rather good, so it's uh, worth your time. Let's see what he has for us here. Just a bunch of fetches. Uh, anything north? We have something uh, east. You know what? Let's do a uh, 1.8 kilometers north. Damn, that's so far. Uh, we have a fetch that's actually just south of us, which is a tier 3. We actually don't want that one. Uh, we wanted to go to tier 4s here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go one kilometer west. There we go. Uh, oh, the uh, pagoda. Holy crap, I'm having a hard time saying that again. Uh, that's actually a nice, rather easy clear, so uh, we'll go and attempt that. So let's go ahead, head back to the horde base here, grab JT, take an extra look at our supplies. Um, I could also have it in my mini bike here. Oh, I don't, but it is full of uh, random crap that I absolutely don't need. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I'll see you guys over at the horde base. Yeah, that stupid dog attacking the zombie first. Uh, I'm the one that can actually defend myself properly, zombie. Oh, that's not even a dog, that's a wolf, my bad. Uh, much respect, I will turn you into some tasty food. All right, so we're back at the horde base here in search of, oh, there's just random crap in there. Oh no, guys. What have I done with my, my tools here? All right, and up we go to check out where JT is. It's over here. I think it's actually uh, probably uh, broken here. Let's take a look at JT. Oh, no, it's actually only halfway down. Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, so uh, now that we have JT, um, I have to head back to my horde base, or my uh, regular base here, the trader, and uh, find a new tool. I must have uh, misplaced it somewhere. Hi, bud. I do that from time to time. Oh, guys, I just scrapped down a, a car for some uh, gasoline because I'm running really low on that. And uh, check this out. Look at all the boxes up in here. That's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab these up. We definitely didn't do that early game. So, yeah, look at that. Uh, six plastic pieces, eight. Uh, they, actually, these don't give a ton, but they're pretty reliable. Fourteen plastic pieces. Sick stuff. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, I gotta get to that buried treasure. I did grab a uh, level 20 ratchet. I do believe that's actually the one we've been using. I just haven't modified it or anything. So uh, once we get stuff unlocked, we'll actually be able to uh, make a better ratchet or make a... Uh, I wonder if the... Uh... 
Ah, the impact driver is in the game, but you actually have to have a master mechanic to get it. Or I assume it's it's something that you can find as a drop too. Oh, sweet, two more plastic there, that's pretty cool. Oh, worry, yeah, it's free honey. There we go. Got him. Sick, love it when these things come after me now. There we go, couple honey. Uh, we can make notes and stuff out of that and ink, so uh, cool stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the usual and start digging. Oh, I found it, guys. Holy crap, this one took a while. I actually dug out uh, quite a bit here. As you can see, the circle's uh, really small. And, of course, as usual, it always ended up being under the stairs here. Uh, or my little entranceway that I started. Always ends up being there. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves armed here. There we go, 16 of these. And grab that up real quick. Wow, we got one health kit for that. <laughs> that was kind of crap. Okay, there you go, you're down, you're down, these guys are actually pretty tough, Woo, bang, there we go, Woo, can't focus on that gun actually, that, uh, that sight is horrible to look at, okay, did we do it, ah, we did it guys, sweet, that coil shotgun is actually uh, pretty badass, oh look, some pink dye, that stuff's always good for uh, the selens, okay, all right, we're still under attack here apparently, you know what? I don't even care. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look on our map here and see where that uh, tier 4 is uh, going to be leading us. I'm going to actually mark that one as our active. Let's go ahead. Toggle active. Okay, and uh, take a look at our map here. Oh, it's all the way in the desert. Okay, so the best way over there is to actually go around this hill and uh, through this valley just above my place. Uh, it is 1316, so we are cutting it a little close, but um, I do believe we can make it. Uh, I also have to stop for gas, too. How much gas did we put in there? 61%? Well, at least the, uh, at least the desert. Uh, I think I can actually go up and maybe across this way here and then over to fetch. Yeah, let's try that. Go, uh... Go in the opposite direction here. As I was going to say, uh, at least there's some cars in the desert, and uh, these are a good source of gasoline, parts, and plastic all around. So uh, I may as well stop at these few I see here, get refueled, grab ourselves some plastic, and then uh, we'll go give that POI a clear. Uh, now, we've done that POI a few times, so it is actually uh, a little repetitive by now, but we uh, know fully what to expect. Uh, I think with the coil pistol too, we can um, absolutely just uh, run right through the thing and uh, get it done uh, quickly this time. I really want to get to that next tier so that we can do the um, uh, the big places and be able to maybe uh, get some key cards out of the zombies there. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and break down these two cars. This one decided to be loud. Okay, and here we go, tier four fetch. It looks like uh, it's actually nice and close this time. We might not have to uh, clear the uh, clear the entire building because uh, it really sucks when you have to do that. Oh, stupid spides. What's up, zombies? Oh, crap. There we go. Take out that spike. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> Without an arm, it can still go nuts. Oh, that's intense. Holy crap, a lot more came out of this place than I, I thought. I really shouldn't have started it uh, in the way I did. But holy crap, look at all the zombie loot. It's uh, it's just dropping like mad for us now. That's insane. Is he still alive? No, he's good. Okay, let's check this stuff out. <laughs> Whoops. Full inventory and everything. Just uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, attack that first sleeper I find. So we should be getting a, a few locals, I think, from all the noise we just made. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get all of this stuff into my mini bike like a big dummy. Okay, good enough. Let's go ahead and uh, see where this package is. Now it says 4.4 meters, so it could be on the next level here. Or uh, maybe perhaps the, uh, the one above it. But uh, let's check this out. Did we activate all the sleepers up here too? Nope, definitely did not. So let's, uh, ooh, where's my JT? Damn it, I don't have him on my tool belt at all. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get him activated. Oh, crap. Look at that, guys. I don't even have him loaded. I don't even have him loaded. That's horrible prep right there. Complete noob. 
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and grab our turret here and uh, reload that bad boy. There we are. Holy crap, look how much damage it took. I think it actually uh, got hit by zombies, so... Uh, it is what it is. Whoa, what's going on over there? I, I swore I heard gunshots, guys. Whoa, did a car just blow up over there? Holy crap, what is happening? Yeah, a car totally just blew up over there. I guess I guess uh, the zombies randomly decided to uh, really hate on that vehicle. Wow, that's in that's insane. <laughs> Action going on all over the place. Never a dull moment in uh, in Darkness Falls. Oh, three generic schematics. That's sick. That's a nice little find. There we go. We got to be making ourselves a lot more mods, dude. We need to mod ourselves up like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take care of these few locals. There we go. Uh, I will take JC in the, or JT inside with me here, and uh, we'll get this fixed up. Are you up? Are you upstairs? What in the world? Where is this thing? <laughs> it sounds like it's actually outside. That's kind of that's kind of weird and creepy at the same time. All right, so this is gonna get insane here. Uh, there's another whole level of these guys. Um, apparently, I don't see any of them. Oh, there's one right there. Was it just one? Whoa, no! There they are! Holy crap, guys! Okay, let's get down here. I think they actually get stuck a little bit. There we go. Right in the face. <laughs> yeah, nurse lady. I think these uh, lab technicians uh, give cards as well, guys. That would actually make a lot of sense, right? The lab technicians? Uh, okay, so where are the rest of these guys here? Are they stuck? Yep, we have a... Uh, a nurse out there, a lab technician out there. We have a zombie out that way. And, uh, whoa! Okay, so I think what's happening here is they're actually uh, falling from the outside and coming back in down through the stairs. I think that's what's going on there. Holy crap! That guy delivered loot right to us. How about that? That's sick. Oh, got some hazmat off of him. Don't really need it, but I got some. Look at that! Some slowly making it up here. Oh, maybe there's a wandering horde nearby too. Uh, that could be actually uh, some combined aggro. <laughs> Holy crap! Did we get them all? Still hear a bird out there going freaking absolutely nuts. Okay, so I hope this thing is on the next level. It says two meters away, so um, I'm unaware if this thing is actually in the same place all the time. I just, uh, I just really want to get this clear done, to be honest. And then uh, we will be uh, out of here. I don't even care about the loot at this moment. Here we go. Bird down. Anyone else? Uh, seven, four, one point four, two point six. Oh, so it is right above us. Yeah, it's in the end room upstairs again. Damn it. Okay. Well. Let's repair this guy, get him reloaded, and uh, we'll set him down. We gotta get uh, we gotta get JT modified up too, and uh, also get some points into uh, skill levels for them for him. Okay, so we're gonna reload this, and it sounds like yeah, we just have one one zombie joining us up there. Oh yeah, there's a gun safe and stuff under here. So yeah, I'll probably actually once I got this clear, um, get everything loaded up. Okay, here we go. It is on, guys. Okay, so I gotta watch that door behind me. Holy crap! No! They were quicker! They just ripped right through that wall like it was nothing. Holy crap, I love the rate of gunfire on this thing, by the way. It's absolutely deadly. Like, look at that! Just made short work of all those zombies. <laughs> ah, that's some sick stuff right there. Alright, did we finally make it? Uh, no, apparently it is still upstairs. I don't know how that, uh... How far away are you are from the uh, objective thing works, but doesn't seem to work correctly, I don't think. Okay, uh, let's go ahead, get this guy reloaded, and uh, we'll get him put down up here. There we go. And uh, let's clear this place out. It should be right up here somewhere. Okay, so there's going to be a few of obviously uh, joining us from the outside here. Uh, let's actually go to them and, uh, just end this, uh, end this early. Here we go. What's up, lady? 
She is down. Drop some loot for us too, right in front of us. Hidden stash out here. Ooh, what is that actually that I just picked up? Let's take a look. That is pistol notes. Oh yeah, we'll, de we'll definitely go ahead and uh, read that bad boy up. There we go. The skill in pistols is now level 71 score. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the loot out here. There we go, mountain mad chest. We got a garage storage. Okay, and uh, where are these supplies now? Ah, here they are in the same place they were last time. So I, pre I think they're pretty much um, pretty predictable. What we could do if we really wanted to cheese this place is I think maybe nerd pull from the outside and then just fight off the few levels on the top because they seem to be the easy levels actually uh, where the other ones aren't... Uh, Aren't so great. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, do a quick loot here on my way down. Just kind of go through uh, all the floors, make sure we got all of our good stuff. And we will head back home and uh, trade in these quests. Or hand in these quests, trade them in. <laughs> I'll trade you your quest for my quest completion. And don't worry, guys. I am grabbing the gun safe. We're grabbing that out. Okay, and look at all the things in the gun safe here. Actually, nothing I don't think we really can use, but that's a whole bunch of trader money up in there. Uh, we'll definitely take that home with us. Okay, cool beans. See you guys on the bottom. Oh, no, guys. I was headed down below here. It's uh, 1920, so it's getting pretty late in the day. And I'm actually hearing... Uh, some zombie action going on, so I haven't really uh, searched and looted everything, but uh, it is getting pretty close to nightfall here, so we're going to want to head off, uh, I think, uh, as soon as possible. But before we go, I may as well take advantage of uh, a little bit of time here and scrap down these uh, these things around the top, because these things, uh, they give you plastic uh, or electric parts here. Oh, no, it was electric parts they gave you lots of. Uh, electric parts uh, plus some brass to a random pile of brass out of them. Uh, so, I mean, they're always worth a, a quick little scrap down, right? All right, so I scrapped all of those brass, um, all that brass uh, lights around. We got 602 brass, maybe a little bit uh, from looting. And we also, where's our electric parts here? 131. Now, I got a few from uh, looting inside or uh, just uh, grinding down a few things I found inside. But uh, that's considerable just for the uh, the bottom of this place. Go around and uh, grab them on your way out. Anyway, guys, I got a little bit of a drive home. I'll see you there. Okay, and we are home, and we know how much of a tour this is. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my, uh, my dump chest here. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, grab that up i think we got yeah we got it all okay and uh steves are out there still keeping watch so we should be good for the night so we got to concentrate here on uh making some more ammo too we definitely need some more shotgun shells for our coil gun and uh we also need to uh get our farming stuff together i think soon too uh now the horde base is coming here shortly uh the one thing i did want to take a look at you can build in this metal workstation here uh we got Spikes. Let's take a look here. We can build a steel log spike six. Uh, so we can make these uh, pretty badass spikes, fl uh, hopefully flip them upside down so that the zombies walk across them and maybe fill up uh, the middle of our horde base with these because I got to figure out a way to do some damage to these zombies too uh, to keep our numbers up on horde nights so that we can uh, have more of a chance at getting really good loot. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of this put away here. Uh, this uh, put some of our raw materials away. We got just six uh, six pieces of wood chill note in there and one sham sandwich i don't think we really need those for now so i'm just going to uh toss all of that stuff aside except for the moldy bread we'll, we'll save the moldy bread okay so if we look in our components here uh let's see how much uh, steel we have in total uh we're doing pretty well our hard base is in good condition so i think we're okay taking a full stack of steel here and seeing how many of these we can make 50 Holy crap. Okay, so I'll put 50 of these in. Uh, that'll take 65 minutes, and then we'll get some uh, coil, uh, some more uh, coil slugs going. Or coil shells, sorry. Not the coil slugs, the coil shell. Okay. 
Okay, so I was looking here because I wanted to get into irrigation. I'm just making some food here so we can get our farm going and not have to worry about food at all. Uh, I have uh, I have not unlocked it yet. I was looking it up in the recipes and we have to get the level three farmer. So we also harvest two additional items from crops and you can craft irrigation systems, carrot seeds and uh, banana seeds. So uh, pretty nice stuff. So we're going to leave the point like that. Now what everyone's saying is to go ahead and uh, invest us some more points in science crafting because apparently that'll also help our uh, our speed with uh, everything just crafting time period by four percent so that was well worth i think um a point spent uh weapon crafting I, I still don't really think we have to do too much with that right now uh let's go ahead and uh, see what else i could spend a point on it's just burning a hole in my pocket right now Okay, definitely worth, I think, the extra point here is the Outlaw 5. Increases fire rate for handguns by 35% on the coil gun. That's insane. Reload them 30% fire uh, faster. Increases damage by 50%. Increased damage with pistol weapons on head attacks by 30. Increased decapitation chance by 15%. Like, that's just absolutely mad. So we're going to uh, max out on that one now that we can. And we've spent uh, all of our skill points here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here at our irrigation system. Uh, we got the irrigation pump if we take a look at the description pump for the farming irrigation system must be placed next to water pipes must be connected to this pump in order for the farm to get water so basically uh we're going to be moving our farm here uh it's in a silly spot it's on a poi i think i'll nice uh find a nice flat spot maybe uh, over that way and behind one of the POIs so that uh, it doesn't get reset on us and we can actually dig it I'm gonna dig down one deep put the farming plots in the ground and then actually I think what I might do is actually run the irrigation system underneath them. I think that'll be good enough to grow them. So we'll start out a little experimental area with a few plots, uh, run the irrigation system under those plots and see if that works and then put the plots on top to save us some space, make it nice and neat looking and kind of use the irrigation system for what it's worth. So one thing we also need is a bucket. That's one thing I have not made this playthrough at all. So that's gonna take uh, seven forged iron. I don't know if we uh, we can expel there or spend that. Actually, can we make Make the bucket in the workbench oh we can nice and easy it's not locked behind the metal so that's kind of cool and uh, we need to get ourselves some water to even get started so let's take a look at our irrigation system may as well get these uh, up and running while we're going uh, where do we make these here in the metal workstation okay uh, so that's gonna get a little backed up and it takes six minutes and 48 seconds to, to make that uh, we're actually making a whole bunch of metal spikes in here Damn, after an hour. Uh, so you know what? Let's just get this loaded in behind the middle spikes because we have to take care of the horde base and the, the farm this week. Yeah, there we go. So we got one pump on the way. And if we take a look at our pipes here, they're actually rather expensive. We can actually only make nine pipes for now, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get these queued up. I don't think this forge over here is actually doing anything at the moment. Oh, wow. We actually have uh, a lot of forged iron up in there. Uh, we do need to make ourselves some more buck shots. Do we have... Uh Bob's having uh, Bob's having dreams here, guys. Sorry if he barks or anything. Yeah, see, there he goes again. I don't know if the mic caught that up, but uh, anyway, uh, he's spending the day in the office with me here because it's just me and him today, and he uh, we need some bonding time, I think, while I work. He loves uh, laying there, I guess, and uh, listening to me talk. Uh, anyway, we need to get some uh, buck shots going on here, and I, I do believe in behind that we'll uh, we'll get some more iron going on. So let's go ahead and grab that scrap and get a whole bunch of supplies on the way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, that's right, that one's making concrete for us. Always making concrete, that poor forge. It, it's, uh, it's rather bored, I think. Okay, so for buck shots, we can make, uh, let's go ahead and make 1,500. I'll leave a little bit of supplies behind in case we need the lead. Oh, we will need the lead, actually, uh, to make ammo. The coil batteries here take five lead each and a whole bunch of polymers. So you know what? Since we have all this stuff on us, uh, we may as well get these uh, queued up in behind. We only have 88 scrap polymers, but whatever it is what it is. Uh, we can make eight bunches, and that comes out to uh, 400. So that'll definitely help with the uh, the shotgun shells. And uh, making some more coil pistol ammo for uh, Horde Knight. Oh, look at those sweet, sweet spikes. That's actually uh, pretty damn awesome. Okay, well, what's going on here? Going on out here, Steve's and other Steve's. 
Seems like a pretty calm night here. It's uh, 3.14 in the morning. I can tell the time now because I have the buff, which is pretty damn awesome from the watch. Uh, there is a buck just kind of chilling out there, which is asking me to eat him. There we go. Bam. Oh, wait. <laughs> it took two shots. Is it down? Yeah, it is. I think it just face planted into that hill. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty calm tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab that buck up. But guys, I have run out of time for this episode here. Uh, we will be back in the next episode, hopefully get some uh, building at the horde base done, at least some general repairs, maybe digging out that middle part, uh, maybe digging out those walls, putting some more two high pillars in, because as we found out from Horde Knight, uh, two high... Two high pillars are more than efficient and uh, maybe upgrade them to concrete this time and everything else to uh, steel and whatnot. But yeah, guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I'm definitely enjoying this playthrough. Uh, hit that like button if you'd like to help and if you'd like to uh, support further, you can always become a member. It's right beside the sub button. Sub button. Holy words today. Stay glassy, everyone. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next episode. Say I'm gonna do my thing my way No matter what you people do I'm gonna do my thing much better than you No matter what you say or do Oh boy, you're out of luck It's gonna roll right off of me Like water off the back of a duck And I go Good boy.